Hey guys, what's going on? The Comics Kid 2099 here. Welcome to day 167 of the 365 Day Graphic Novel Review Challenge. Uh, yesterday, in my review of The Authority, uh, Transfer of Power, I mentioned that that volume is the last volume in the Authority series that I actually own, and that is technically true. And today I said I would be talking about something that is part of the Authority world, but it's not part of that series. So today, I'm going to be talking about The Authority, The Secret History of Jenny Sparks. Uh, this is a little side story. It's not part of the main Authority series. Uh, this is written by Mark Millar with art by John McRae. Uh, I bought this years and years after I had read uh, that last Authority book that I had, and I wasn't sure what I was going to think of it. It was really cheap. I thought, you know what, even if it's not very good, I'm not paying very much for it, and that's probably not a good mindset to have going into a story like this, but I ultimately really like this book a lot more than I thought I would. Uh, if you remember a couple days ago when I was talking about the end of Warren Ellis and Brian Hitch's run on the authority, uh, it felt to me like Warren Ellis was killing off Ginny Sparks because out of all the characters in the team, it felt to me like he had more ownership over that character than any of these other characters. I even went so far as to say that Jenny Sparks is kind of the female avatar of Warren Ellis. She's very grumpy, uh, she's a curmudgeon, but at the same time, there's a little bit of hope in her uh, that she has for everyone else, and I kind of get that from Warren Ellis a lot of times in the stuff that he writes. And so I felt like uh, maybe that was why he was killing her off as he was leaving the Authority. And then we get uh, this book that details some of her other adventures that she had in the 20th century, before she joined Stormwatch and later The Authority. And it's written by Mark Millar. Uh, I thought, okay, it's going to be very interesting to see someone other than Warren Ellis writing the previous adventures of Ginny Sparks. And it's not bad, uh, which is very surprising to me because, as I've said very recently, Mark Millar is a huge hit-and-miss thing for me. Sometimes he's pretty good. Sometimes he's not very good at all. Uh, I like some of his early work from the 80s and very early 90s, but by the time you get to The Authority, it really feels like he is uh, constantly and consistently writing for his inner 13 year old like oh wouldn't it be cool if the Captain America stand in uh, has sex with these two dead women over here uh, stuff like that uh, it feels like he is always trying to go for the most extreme thing that he can do and usually that doesn't work for me uh, it, apparently it works for a lot of other people because a lot of people like a lot of the stuff that he writes uh, but anyway uh, I was very uh, hesitant about this but at the same time I was willing to buy it so there was some part of me that was interested to see what this would be like and I really like it I really like getting to see a younger, uh, I don't necessarily want to say naive version of Jenny Sparks, but when you compare this Jenny Sparks to the one at the beginning of The Authority, yeah, she's definitely a little bit more naive, a little bit more adventurous. Uh, she's not quite as cranky and curmudgeon-y as she was in uh, the Warren Ellis stuff. I really like getting to see this version of Jenny Sparks. Uh, now, there is some stuff here that ties into some of the stuff that uh, Mark Millar was doing during his run on The Authority. Uh, all of those uh, Marvel Universe stand-ins that he created in his first uh, arc on the title. They show up here at one point. Uh, so I would recommend that you read this after you've read all of Mark Millar's run on The Authority, just to be safe. Uh, also, uh, we get one thing here that is very interesting here that normally bugs the heck out of me whenever I'm reading a story about an immortal. Uh, I absolutely can't stand it when you have a character who is immortal, and then they talk about how they met all these famous people from history. Uh, Orlando from the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen books, uh, he did it all the time. He talked about how he was part of the Trojan War uh, in the life of Orlando, you literally could not turn a page without him meeting someone famous from fiction or history. Uh, it was maddening. Uh, then you had, like, in the Highlander TV series at one point, uh, Duncan said that he was good friends with Harry Houdini. Uh, in the Hancock movie, uh, Charlize Theron's character, uh, she said that she knew uh, John F. Kennedy very well. Uh, I hate it whenever characters who are immortal are revealed to have been really big friends or really good buddies with someone from history who is really well known from history. Uh, this book does it, and it gets away with it in a very interesting way. Uh, Jenny Sparks, it is revealed, was really good friends with Hitler uh, during uh, and shortly before World War I. Uh, she was friends with him when he was trying to be an artist, and at first when I was reading this, I was like, oh great, here we have another immortal character, and she knew all of these people from the 20th century, all of the most well-known people, uh, she knew them. But then this book turns around and says, because she is the spirit of the 20th century, of course she is going to be very influential on all of these people that she knows. And so all the people that she meets and greets throughout the 20th century are going to be very important figures in the 20th century, even if they are very evil people like Adolf Hitler was. And uh, in this story, a slight little spoiler here, but uh, Jenny is uh, trying to cheer up uh, Adolf Hitler, and he just doesn't know what to do with himself. And she says, uh, listen, no offense, but you're not that good of an artist. Maybe you need to find a different career path. And 
I ordinarily wouldn't like that. If it was any other character, I would say, boo, that's stupid, I don't like it. If it was Duncan McLeod or any other immortal character, I would say no. But because it is the spirit of the 20th century, and she is uh, molding and shaping the 20th century just by her actions, I really like that a lot. And he is able to take uh, this trope about immortal characters that really annoys me a lot, and he's able to make it work with Jenny Sparks. Uh, I really like this book quite a bit. Uh, if you were a fan of Jenny Sparks in the early Authority stuff, if she was your favorite character, uh, like she was for me in that team, uh, this is definitely something that you are going to want to check out. And uh, this is definitely what I wanted from the Authority. I wanted more characterization. I wanted to come to know these characters. I didn't want to just have a really big epic brawl where they kill an entire planet or something like that. I wanted to get to know the characters and then get to see them involved in these really high stakes adventure stories. And uh, this is basically what I get. Uh, I get an entire story that characterizes Jenny Sparks and fleshes her out a little bit more. And I really like it. Uh, there's another one for Jack Hawks more, which I do not have, uh, and I won't be talking about that tomorrow because I don't have it, but uh, I am very interested in reading that because I also like Jack Hawksmore quite a bit in the later stuff after Warren Ellis left the book, so I'm very possibly going to be buying that and talking about that later on, uh, not tomorrow, uh, but sometime down the line, uh, but this definitely, uh, this and some of the other Authority books I've been reading recently, they definitely reignited my interest in reading the Authority stuff uh, that I was initially put off by uh, whenever I read the end of Mark Millar's run on the series, uh, but overall, I really like the secret history of Jenny Sparks. I think you guys would like it too if you were a big fan of her character from uh, The Authority, uh, specifically the stuff from uh, the Warren Ellis run. Uh, so those are my thoughts on this book. I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will be back tomorrow with a different video. In the meantime, you guys have a great rest of the day. Catch you later.